good morning to everyone today we are discussing a new chapter the chapter uh, is force right so to know about force first we have to take few example that is uh, if you stay if you take one or two examples like uh, walking running jumping catching bringing or dropping right these all actions is able to require the force then what is mean by force for that we have a small definition right simply the action of push or the action of pull we call the force simply the action of push or pull that we call as force right so moreover we daily we are busy with uh, different different uh, works right from morning to evening we are busy uh, as a children we are busy with uh, uh, with books and pens pencils and drawing and writing these all actions are, are taking place when as come to adults they are busy with the different different works drivers right daily workers and agriculture means farmers they are all busy with works so each and every work is required with uh, the effort of force right so here we have to discuss the information and uh, what uh, extra uh, additional information about the force then already we discussed force is simply called as push or pull that is the definition then this force is classified into two types one is contact force another one is non contact force right contact is not non contact is one then how to we get a clap for example if you take the duster Yes, that is there in my hand, right? And uh, I am taking into right hand. So without uh, uh, having of contact with the one more hand, it is can't able to shift to the another hand, right? So taking, dropping, keeping, and uh, writing, right? These all are examples with only the force is present with the contact of one object with another object. For that we call as contact force and the second type is non contact force which type of non contact simply for example say in the star if i uh, able to uh, simply am able to push into the air right ultimately it is coming back or not otherwise if you release it from certain height again it is coming to down or not right so that action means any object Uh, which is not uh, exist with direct contact even though it is having the force that we call as non contact force for example in dropping of object right so simply i am able to push the chalk into the sky right into the air again it is dropping again to the my hand right that indicates the earth is attracting so here the chalk piece and ground is not having contact even though the force is present for that we call as non contact force here we have different type of non contact force that is uh, magnetic force another one is uh, gravitational force and the last one is <coughs> electrostatic force. we have three different type of forces under non contact force means this type of force is not does not having any direct contact from one object to another object right have you got a clarity as yes, children now we are going to verify the magnetic force is a field force right for that first we have to take the uh, help of a white sheet that white sheet or white paper you have to place on the table right now i am placing on the table right then you have to take the help of two magnets or one magnet or uh, one small magnet with a magnetic material means magnetic material means any material which having attraction with the magnet right so here i am taking one small magnet right and uh, i taken a uh, few iron nails right Uh, simply this one uh, pins i taken right so just uh, you have to take the magnet towards the 
nails right so see suddenly the needles are attracting to the magnet or not for that there is no contact from needles to magnet even needles are attracting for that any attraction force without having contact between the object that we called non contact force here magnetic force we consider as non magnetic uh, sorry non contact force then here how the magnet is attracting that we are already clear we are have a knowledge every magnet is having attraction power so whatever the attraction is there by the magnet so that attraction we called as magnetic force so magnetic force is applied on the needles for that these nails is attracting towards the magnet so to prove one more here i am taking one more small magnet right so that i am placing near to the a big magnet then i am moving this one to the small magnet side c without having any contact when it's reached to here ultimately it is attached right so this magnet is attaching to the big magnet or not so this is the reason of or uh, this is the effect of magnetic force moreover you have knowledge in 6th class like poles can repel unlike poles can attract see here if you able to see there is no attraction see reversely it is attaching like this so it is attaching like this means these two are unlike poles then if i able to take these two right see these two are not attaching see attaching no it is uh, repel right so repulsion is for like poles and attraction is for unlike poles got a clarity this is the second type of force in uh, the category of non contact force right for example uh, to know this if you take the example of f right so f is beginning size right and more about it is ready to attract all the materials for example here i am able to take the chalk right then this one i am pull into the a again this back to the ground up c coming or not same thing i am taking the step right then i am releasing from this height then it is dropping or not same thing here i am taking a piece of wood right that the wood uh, i am able to release from here then it is dropping or not so simply whatever the material right so if you draw if you release from certain height it is directly able to fall on the earth for that simply we call it whatever the force right the force from earth which attracts the all objects that we call a gravitational force right so the force from the earth that we call the gravitational force it is not only existed for the earth it is also existed for all planets all planets what you have knowledge in the previous uh, uh, 7th class or uh, in uh, lower classes we have eight planets or not that all planets are having same attraction on their surface right then it is also having one more extension it is not only for planets it is also existed for all type of stars right sun is the the live example for star day what we are seeing we are seeing in big size moreover what of the light we got uh, help more and more from sun uh, in the form of uh, two energies one is light energy and one is heat energy that particular sun also having attraction force right here one thing this particular uh, gravitational force is introduced initially or in starting time by newton right one day he sat under uh, a apple tree right he is taking rest he is sleeping right suddenly a apple is dropped on his head 
right? Then he started thinking about why the apple is dropped on my head, why not it flies into the space or into the sky. The type of thinking he got, then he can able to test with the different different materials. Every time he took the different different materials and released it from certain height. Then whatever the least object is there, that should be dropped on the earth it seems. Then he noticed earth is having something a force, that invisible force is field force or non-contact force and he named as gravitational force. For that, whatever the force is there, it is having unit as Newton. For example, if you take a weight, what's your weight, you are able to say in kgs. What's your height? You are able to say in centimeters. So height you are measuring in centimeters or not? In same way, every type of force, either uh, magnetic force or uh, gravitational force or electrostatic force, whatever force, just if you go the term as force, the force is having unit as Newton. Because that children, we have to discuss about the uh, non-field force here in the uh, First two are over, magnetic force is over and gravitational force is over. Now we are taking a look about third type of force that is the electrostatic force. So, electrostatic force generally we can able to see uh, in our daily experience. In winter season, when you are able to wear the shirts or removing the shirts, sometimes your hair is able to attract to the, your shirt. And one more example. Uh, if you watch in the TV, either uh, normal portable TV or LCD TV, after running a few hours, if you take your head, hand head, right, near to that particular TV screen, it can able to rise, right? And one more, uh, third type of uh, example, or uh, yes, third example, what you observe in your general life, if you sit in plastic chair, if unfortunately your hand is rubbed to the plastic chair, then ultimately your hair is getting rises, right? This all action shows the existence of electrostatic force. Then how electrostatic force is created? Simply on rubbing of two material, especially first material is uh, must be plastic it seems. Second one is lightweight material, either papers or uh, dry leaves or hay, whatever it may be. So, in showing of electrostatic force, you have to take any plastic material, the plastic material either scale or pen or you have to take any piece of chain, right? If you have break the chain and broken chains, right? In that you have to take certain part. It is also possible balloons, right? So, balloons also showing the same result. Then, rubbing of scale to the paper frequently means you have to rub fast. Then ultimately, this particular scale, when you rub this paper, so on rubbing process, it can able to show positive charge. Charge means, uh, we already had a uh, discussion about uh, charges in previous classes, in 7th class level, right? We have two types of charges, positive charge is present, negative charge is present. So here, scale or pen is able to get the positive charge due to rubbing process. Then, if you take this particular scale and uh, place near to the a piece of papers, very very minute size of papers, right? This one able to attract with certain distance, right? This particular <coughs> effect we call as a electrostatic force. Means the charge is attracting the papers or not, right? Attracting we call as force. How it is with charges? For that we call as electrostatic force. Means charge is present exactly to the surface of the material, not inside the material, only surface of. For that only we see the action in three times: in wearing of shirt, right? In wearing off of shirt, on uh, TV screen, and uh, on chains. It is also possible to perform. Simply take a pen, right? Take the pen and rub to your head, right? And uh, take a piece of papers, right? Five to six uh, small pieces, then rub frequently either pen with scale, just you have to place, right? That do not in direct contact, just with certain distance. Ultimately, you will get uh, the result. The papers are ready to attract to the rubbed pen or chain, that particular scale. This indicates 
electric star electrostatic force is existed so the electrostatic force also we call it a non contact force right that you have to perform right have you got clarity yeah as children now we are going to discuss about uh, contact forces right already discussed when two objects are in contact and with contact a force is existed that we call the contact force then in the contact force we have different types in the different type uh, one type of force is muscular force what type of force muscular force then how to uh, know the about muscular force here we are doing different different works in our daily life different different works in our daily life for example already uh, we used the example lifting of material or catching of material right and uh, dragging of material and running playing jumping right in these all actions right moreover eating that is uh, a familiar work and moreover uh, not sleeping only i am saying about uh, eating and moreover chewing means uh, what are the food you enter into the mouth that can able to chew right chewing then and also possible in body time you can able to rub the hand to the entire body parts right then uh, while you are taking head bath your hands able to do the work right it is moving or not in these all actions and uh, if you take anything uh, like writing right writing means simply we have to to the help of pen or uh, chalk and we have to write on the board right here i am able to write uh, writing means i took the help of chalk and took the help of board and both are in contact and my hand is moving with what with force then only i can able to write then the force is from muscular work so simply what is muscular force any physical work which can perform or the force from muscle we call the muscular force the force from muscle we call the muscular force then what happened simply with muscle uh, muscular force we can able to perform the physical work simply i am walking from board to table and table to again back to the board walking means i use the help of muscles right so these are all physical actions i am simply giving all physical actions physical actions are best example to prove the muscular force then what's the definition simply the force from muscles is called a muscular force right children now we are discussing about the contact force in that uh, we are going to discuss about the second type of force that we call uh, frictional force right then first we have to take a uh, definition what is frictional force simply resistance to the movement of a body over the surface of another body again i am repeating resistance to the movement of a body over the surface of another body for that i am taking the help of <coughs> your best one uh you have to take one uh, selection of boy who is playing game so here i am taking the game as football right he is the player right if you take uh, bicycling also no problem means pedaling of cycle he what are the uh, football game this boy is kick the ball on kicking of ball this particular ball fastly moving towards one side right after some time this ball comes into the state of rest means it will go and stop it then on kick this particular ball is rolling on the ground or not simply here rolling ball is reducing the speed right then reducing speed here we call resistance where on the surface of another ball on the surface of another ball what happened to the movement it is decreasing means speed of ball is decreasing when rolling on the ground right so why because it is existed by frictional force right so 
Once you kick the ball, initially means starting it is able to move in fast. But as the ball is rolling, right, the speed of ball is reduced. Means the speed of ball is slowly decreasing, right? Decreasing is uh, having contact with the ground or not. So this ball is rolling, right? Means these two are in the air contact. So on rolling time, right? This particular surface is stopping the speed of ball. So that we call the stopping nature of surface of moving object is called a frictional force. Same thing if you take the bicycle, when you pedal the bicycle, the ultimately the speed of bicycle is increased. Once you stop the pedaling, ultimately the what are the tires are uh, going to move on the road, right? So that can able to slowly reduces. Finally, if you stop completely pedaling, it will go and stop at one place because the tires is on the contact of road. Right? Then ultimately the road is able to always reduce the speed. Right? So that nature we call as frictional force. So the resistance to the movement means running object over the surface of another body. Continuity, we have to take one more example. That is uh, how to know about uh, frictional force. For that we have to take one lab activity. Right? That we have to take a look right now. Okay? Just we have to take a look. Yes, children. Now we are going to discuss about how the friction is different from object to object. Right? That we are going to inspect right now. For that, we required one pad. Right? On the pad, we have to place one ice cube. Right? And uh, on the ice cube, uh, whatever you placed on the pad, then you have to take one coin. Right? And another one is eraser. Then, all three you should place at same place, uh, same line, and uh, that should be at one end of the pad. Then, whatever the end we place the objects, that you have to lift slowly. Then, you can able to notice which one able to move fast. See, ice cube is able to move. After that, if you observe that same, coin is dropped, and after lifting, see the condition, still eraser is not moving. That indicates, all three objects is not having same amount of friction. The ice cube is having less amount of friction or uh, friction value is quite less and uh, coin is having little bit more friction than ice cube and eraser is having highly friction or uh, the friction value is more. For that easy to catch the eraser in the hand means easy to hand see how it is uh, catching even though these two fingertips is able to hold the coin. Then same thing this particular coin is something is able to move from one end to another end. See it is not moving in proper order. But whereas come to this ice cube, it is not able to hold, it is directly, oh, it is dropping from hand to another hand, right? So like this, we can able to verify that all objects are having same amount of friction or not. Okay, children, have you got the class? Discuss about uh, one more type of force that is uh, normal force, right? So here normal force is uh, to know about that simply. So this force is uh, simply we call the Force is from surface to acting on a object in perpendicular direction. Perpendicular direction. So any type of surface, right? So here surface I take an as a table, right? So this is the table, right? So on the other we place the dash pad, right? So this table is able to apply certain force in the perpendicular direction, means in upward direction. So due to that only, if I drop the dash pad, it is hold on the table. Otherwise, if you take it to this side, right? So if I able to do same thing to continue, directly it will drop because the gravitational is ready to attract. But when I kept on the table, this table is able to push the duster toward the upward direction, means perpendicular direction. So whatever the force is coming from the surface of table acting on the duster in upward direction, so this force we call as normal force. So always, if you take this table like this, right? So, have to draw 
then this is you consider as duster. So always in downward direction, gravitation is acting. Already we discussed what is gravitational force. Every object is attracted by earth, that is called a gravitational force. But uh, here this table is pushing the duster in upward direction. Upward. From that we call as normal force. Right? So this is the existence about normal force. Due to that only we are easily walk on the surface of earth. But we can't walk on the water because the normal force is very very less. With the common legs, can we able to walk on the water? No, right? We can able to sink in the water. But we are not sink into the earth because earth is able to push our feet down in upward direction. Due to that we are easily to walk. Right? So that we discussed in further. Right? Till now you heard the clarity about normal force. Okay? Yes, children. Now we have a small discussion about uh, fourth type of force under the contact force that is uh, tensional force or we call as tension. Here tension means not fear, it is one type of force. How it is present? Simply, uh, it is easily to show. If you take any particular rubber, right? So here I take any rubber, then this is normal condition. This one is we call a stretched condition. What we call stretched condition. Then in a stretched rubber or in a stretched material, right? We can able to see the tensional force. See, it is showing the sound or not. Means in stretching condition, the object is internally existed with the rearranging force, right? I am not saying such type of uh, hard explanation, simply the tensional force is present in stretched material, especially in rubber and uh, uh, stretched uh, membranes. If you take guitar, right, or uh, violin, sitar, vena, in that we have wires, that wires are tightly arranged to the support. So, in the stretched condition, this particular material stretched material is extended with the force that force we call as tensional force right have you got the clarity now we have a short discussion about uh, force right so already we discussed about contact forces non-contact forces again that are classified into different different three are uh, non-contact forces and four are uh, uh, contact force we have right different different types right here what forces can do means with force what you can able to do so we can able to do uh, three different actions by using of force or on applying of force first one is with force we can able to change the direction for example if you are riding a bicycle Right? If you have the turns, either left turn or right turn, then we can able to apply the force on the handle, it will change the direction of bicycle. Same thing to the vehicles, the drivers are able to change the steering and turnings, right? At that time they are able to apply the force on the steel. Means the force is able to change the direction of vehicle or direction of object. This is the first change, right? From force. Then second thing. The force can always change the shape. For that, here I am taking an example. I take a duster. So catch it in hand and able to apply the force. See, the shape of duster is changing up. So I apply the force. Again, if I remove the force, it will come into as it is shape. But on applying of that, it is changing the shape of Not only this, if you apply the force, Right? So here I take any chalk, I apply the force. It breaks into two parts or not? So the shape is changed or not? So changing of shape is the second action from force. And third one, so it can change the state of object. For this, I am going to give one or two clarities. If you are playing the carom board, we are able to strike the coins with the striker, 
we are taking the striker and we can able to hit uh, the coins so on hitting time the coins are always at the uh, same place means state of rest but on hitting it slowly moving towards the corner or any particular side so up to that uh, before hitting the coin is at the same place but after hitting it slowly moving or not right same thing so the force uh, hitting means we apply the force right so from that state of coin is from rest to motion same thing if you take as yes, i heard then right now bikes up right so on uh, raising of uh, force on the accelerator right the bike is starts moving with uh, more speed on increasing of accelerator it will increase the speed ultimately if you apply the force on the brake the speed of the bike is slowly decreases and it will comes into stop means it comes into the rest so same thing i written so state of object can be changed by applying of force from rest to motion or motion to rest here motion means we call it as moving here motion means moving means stopping one comes into the moving one and moving one comes into the stopping one so these actions are taking place with force one is direction change another one is shape change and third one is state of object also able to change with the applying of force right have you got the clarity